Thanks. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to present you uh, a uh, documentation system that uh, from NAN, uh, we prepared from NAN. Um, Uh, we we prepared this uh, documentation system because a user manual is something that most of customers ask us, but it's something which is a uh, kicking the ass uh, to to do because uh, we have a very uh, modular system with Triton, which uh, at a new functionality is very easy and sometimes uh, very quick but uh, maintain a, a user manual in, in a system that can uh, change very fast is, is very, is, it's complicated, no? And, and when, the, uh, when the system is uh, updating in the time uh, with new functionalities in, in modules that are installed uh, before, it's hard to find where uh, the system change and make this change in in the user manual, and it's also uh, it's more hard if you have a lot of customers, each one with different modules installed, so each one with theoretically different ma user manual, and and maintaining it's it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, so uh, we think that. Uh, we need a uh, system documentation that uh, compile the manual in a modular uh, way like uh, Triton is made. So we inspired in, in the views inheritance to um, using Sphinx to uh, create a, a system that uh, uh, compile the user manual but it on the modules taking the the sources of the manual from each module, module and these modules use an inheritance system similar to of views to make change in the base uh, documentation in a similar way. Okay. Um, I make a very fast uh, presentation of the system uh, after, well, what I What I want to reach is, for example, we have a, the manual is in Spanish. Uh, I, we, I will talk about this in the future. Um, we have a, a customer with a database with only the product uh, module installed. So we have the, base documentation about Triton interface, etc. And we only have product uh, information, documentation, and yeah. anything else. Okay? But we have another uh, customer with the product price list. Um, sorry. <coughs> with only the product price list um, module installed. So, automatically, in, uh, we have documentation about product, product price list, because for some, um, pri product price list module and its dependencies. Product, product pr uh, price list, party, etc. Okay. Um, as we can see uh, later, it's very, it's automatically uh, how this manual is compiled. Okay. The components to do this is uh, the Sphinx. Uh, I think everybody knows it's used to, to make the documentation of Python modules in Red the Docs and a lot of other uses. Uh, and two extensions that we we made for this purpose. Sphinx Contrib Inheritance, uh, which implement the inheritance systems like uh, Triton's views, and it's generic 
uh, and Tridoc, which is specific for Triton. Triton. It implements the possibility to connect to Triton from Sphinx and get information like uh, menus names, uh, field names, um, something else more, uh, because uh, you can uh, customize it the name of a menu, so each customer will see exactly the menu name or the field name that she, uh, he's viewing in his ERP. Um, well, I, I will talk uh, later about the functionalities, features that it's not supported now, but we plan to support. Okay, at Triton the Doc, it's a project with the documentation for core modules and Triton base, uh, Triton client, etc. And all, uh, third party modules uh, sources where there are the, the documentation. Okay. Things, blah, 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 blah. Well, in the presentation that will be, you can download from somewhere. <laughs> uh, there are links to, to each project uh, in Bitbucket and uh, two extensions are in PyP, so you can install with PyP. Pip. Okay, uh, where we found the... Can you please repeat the, the red link for the big bucket? Uh, uh, you can find in in the presentation that we we put in... But in uh, somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere, yeah. <laughs> but okay, uh, in Bitbucket, Triton Spain user, that it's a user shared with Zigzag Media and Mantic. Uh, you, uh, sorry, no, sorry, in Mantic user of Bitbucket, you will find the two extensions of Finch. Finch country inheritance or pip install Finch country inheritance, Nantic Tridoc or pip install uh, Tridoc. Okay. Okay. Um, where are the documentation uh, sources? We decided to put in each module because it's better to have uh, self-contained everything of about module self-contained in in the sources. And uh, we think to put in in doc mod, in doc directory and uh, inside this directory uh, <coughs> a directory for each language where for each language we do it and not uh, think in a translation system or because for two reasons this one is that. Um, in each language, uh, something like a, a user manual could change, um, if not a lot, uh, in some parts. Uh, it's not this, a field name, it, it will be translated uh, field name by field name or head text by head text because it's a, a short text. But in long text, uh, it's easier than how you explain it in, in one language or another language. Uh, could change. And the second reason, and more practical reason, is that uh, <coughs> produce a good quality uh, manual in English for, for us, it's, it's hard. We don't need it, and it's hard. So uh, we think that it's easier to have a, a good user manual in each language if each com language community uh, are free to, to produce it uh, with, without dependencies with other languages. Of course, uh, if you take a module that it's not documented in your language and it's documented in English or Germany and you can translate it, uh, it's a good base to produce your, your language manual. But sometimes you prefer to produce it in, from the scratch or, or something, okay? Uh, it means that uh, each language manual is absolutely independent, independently. The inheritance points will be independently. 
may be very similar, but not necessarily exactly the same. Okay. Um, in, in the presentation, <coughs> in the slides, uh, you have the, the explanation how to set up a system. I will make a demo. It's easy because in the version released yesterday night, <laughs> Uh, there are some uh, scripts that help you a lot. Okay. No. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Uh, it's not required to to have this this structure. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can pass the path to everything by as, as parameter. Uh, we work with a with a directory for project for customer project where we have uh, Triton D uh, sources with module sources in the modules directory, and, and, and it's an important thing. <coughs> and we can do a manual directory, a manual project, a Sphinx project for each language, or we must to do a, 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 project, a Sphinx project for each language, and if it's shared, the, the, the instance is shared by different databases, uh, each uh, a directory for each language and each database to have a user manual customized for each language and each database, okay? Um, how to, to prepare, uh, see, is uh, with 3Doc uh, package, pip install 3Doc package, it provides three, three scripts. 3Doc quick start, which is a copy paste of Sphinx quick start with some customizations. 3Doc uh, quick start, quick start. <laughs> Uh, the lang code, it must be the the code uh, the the name of directory of the language in doc uh, directories, okay. And the <coughs> the target the the target directory, it it's not needed that exists, so it will create. Uh, Okay, um, <coughs> there are a lot of questions because I, I don't remove it anything about the Sphinx quick start, but the default value is it's very okay. Here, uh, it asks me uh, the project name, Tritons Manual, Tons User Manual, author, Zigzag Media, who produced most of the current documentation, Uh, default, 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 default. Uh, Sphinx country inheritance the book message. For now, the default value is no. Uh, I will explain what's the what is useful. Default. Use a persistent database to generate manual. Yes or no? It's explained, but if you don't use a pers if you use a persistent database, it will ask for connection to a, a Postgres. Uh, database, normally your customer's database to take uh, exactly uh, which modules are installed uh, and the, uh, the menu's name, field names, blah, blah. Uh, if you, uh, uh, you answer no uh, to use a persistent, it will use a, a SQL database and each time you um, compile the manual, it will prepare a new database. It's slower. It could be good if you are um, if you are the, um, genetic, um, producing. Well, it could be useful. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I ask. Uh, I answer uh, to use a persistent database because it's faster. Database name. 
admin password to, to connect to database and get data. And is Triton the installed as Python module? If yes, uh, mm, Proteus could import this with a simple import uh, Triton. Uh, if you answer no, as it's in our case, and the foul value, uh, you must to put the path to the Triton the installation to could uh, insert in the path and and could be a, could do a, an import also. Okay. It generate it creates it creates a user doc dos directory where we find uh, a make field a customization uh, <coughs> a little little customization of default strings make field. Um, a conf pay, which is a more customization uh, conf pay based on Spinch. Index uh, RST, which is the base um, file. It is in Triton's uh, Tridoc uh, project. It is for uh, Spanish, and it's get because you ask the you answer that the language is Spanish, so it takes the Spanish index RST from Tridoc. Now there is only the Spanish version of index RST. If you like this uh, proposed, uh, next uh, next step is to make <coughs> an index for each language that we want to support. Modulus CFG. Uh, where are the list of of modules included in the manual and anything else. Okay. Uh, now I need to uh, fill the modules CFG with the modules that we want to include in the manual. We can do it uh, um, manu uh, manual, uh, but the, there are a script to do it uh, automatically. Three doc update modules, okay? We, uh, you have a... You have a help, uh, but... I put the path to the module CFG um, file and the path, uh, the path to the Triton the directory to to put into the path uh, to uh, for Proteus and good. and the path to the user doc uh, project. Okay, it connects to the. Ah, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, the last, the last um, is the database to connect. Okay. It connects to the database. It found that the, uh, this is the list of installed modules, and it put in the modules, user doc dos, modules CFG, uh, and we have, I don't know if you see, the list of mod installed modules and true or false if you need to um, to the list of mod installed modules uh, and if you need to disable something so someone uh, because he is breaking your documentation you can put false uh, very quick okay uh, three, three dot quick start, uh, fill the modulus CFG, uh, we can use the script, and the last is have the user doc uh, sources in, in, our, um, pro, uh, in our manuals project directory, because the, because the make field needs to, to compile the manual. There is, uh, we work with um, symlinks because it's easier, and we have a, another script. 
3 dog siblings. When you make a um, 3 dog uh, quick start, in the, the last message, explain your next steps. Okay, uh, uh, execute uh, 3 dog uh, data modules and execute uh, siblings and with the params, some params are uh, in are helpful. Three dog siblings, the language, because uh, they need to to find the correct uh, source directory, and uh, the path to the modules uh, directory where we have the mo modules sources and the. Uh, and the path to the project, okay. And as we now uh, we don't have the core modules uh, documented in, in the so the documentation of core modules in in, in, in the sources of module, uh, we have the here I cloned the Triton the doc uh, project. Uh, it's in Bitbucket and uh, it's referenced in, in the slides. Here we have a directory for each core module and we only have the documentation. Treat on the doc, sale, sale doc, doc esa. We have the, the sources of Spanish manual uh, document uh, user documentation for save module, okay? And we also have the Triton, Triton the doc, Triton the uh, the, the doc, the the base documentation uh, of Triton client and. Okay, to okay, to have the Triton the doc uh, documentation, we need to execute the symlinks script uh, for second time with no remove because normally it removes the sim the previously symlinks to to clean. Uh, no remove. Yes, the, the the language, the path to treat on the doc sources, and the, the path to the, pro, the doc project. Okay. Now we have the config, the module FFG affiliate with installed modules, and symlinks. Okay, symlinks, mm, doc supply day uh, is a link to the, well, to the supply, uh, stock supply days doc es directory. So here in stock supply day we found uh, the sources of language, uh, do, uh, language documentation. Okay, so each project, each directory, each uh, user doc directory is for each language and each um, database because in because in conf in conf pay we have a a connection to the database to get uh, another time to get the uh, the field names blah 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 okay now i can make html it, uh, it generates the the, do, the documentation the result is that mm -hmm. well, okay the result okay setup Okay. <laughs> it's okay for now? Can you Since show here? a little bit more the result? The result? Yes, back to the result okay. for instance. 
It's so that's Spanish, so it's not yeah. your problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we have um, the manual. Okay, mine. Well, this structure is well, is the, the structure that the base structure that we decided in maestros in master documents. We found products in this uh, database with only product module installed, but I'm in the same page, but with another database, and we found products, party, and company. Okay, and in product page, here uh, we have uh, product category, uh, sales price, and uh, unit of measure. But in the second in the second database where we can have a price list, there is another section, a price list, and in product in this list, we have a new field list price in this list. Okay, how is made? Okay, I will I will show the sources can, of of this. Can, can you show the difference between one and the other on the this list? Okay, this list price is still here. Ah, okay, sorry, uh, it's not that. <laughs> um, okay, bueno, a new section, and there are other examples. We can, you can extend each part. Show the difference between okay. one and the other, because I think it's... Okay, here, in the second one, we have the tarifas section, okay? And here, we don't have the section, okay? Yes, we have a little problem, it's in the footer I will show, about how are included the new sections in the, in the core. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sí, okay. Eh, do, ¿cómo es? Doc.com.rt.e. Foto de producto. Eh. Ah, pues. Para la bastante, no han llegado así, pero es un tema muy importante. Sí. Eh. Product history? Where did they or no? I don't read. I check it. Cost price? Cost his price. Ah, yes. Without price? Without price. Okay. 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 Uh, bueno, a new, okay, a new section. A different way to include uh, here ta uh, tarifas, the price list is included as a separate page, and we have a new example where the the extension, the change, is to add a new inline section in the document. Okay, I will show the the sources of that. Yes, the the comment is that uh, usually we call that uh, reference manual, not user doc. In, in a user doc is something which is misleading in this case. U user doc is made of how to. Okay. 
and, and this list of uh, features is usually called a response manual. <coughs> so you, you pick the information you need in, in the dictionary of the fields and the menus and so on. So you just uh, uh, check one point. You write the conditional and Sorry? you can, you write the conditional, you can write uh, technical condition or user documentation or... And the user documentation is really not linked to the code. You cannot, you cannot operate. Let, let's take an example. If you say how to uh, make an invoice, Okay, first care you have to do is, is there an order regarding this invoice or not? If you have an order, you have to, f to, to check that the order is processed and uh, deduce the invoice from the order. If it is not subject to an order, which is a completely different functional case, nothing to do with the code, then you have to build your invoice from scratch. Okay. This is typically user documentation. But the fact that in the order you have the list of lines is typically something which is a reference manual. Uh, it's really a, a okay, question okay, of wording, uh, not, not after more. After all, this is a documentation framework. Okay, so you, sh you should be able to write a user manual or a reference manual. Yeah, the, <coughs> the point is just it's called user doc. Okay, just, just the so, name. So here. I think that we have to to, to I it's very important to have a good reference manual. I would say uh, this in fact, we can also discuss, uh, and probably in the slides, to discuss how how we should what what we what we want to have from a, from a reader point of view. Okay. Exactly. It's it's an interest. It's a, an interesting point to discuss I yeah, if yeah, we yeah, have yeah. if we want to in include this. Okay. Oh. Uh, Okay. <laughs> Product. <coughs> okay. In product uh, directory, we found index is is never is included in reference manual. Okay. Uh, in Triton Spain, we use it to have a translated version of description of, of description of the module for other projects like apps apps projects okay um, maestros is because in the base it's a convention to use it's like views it's a convention to use the 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 file that you are extending uh, in here because it's easier to fa to find uh, what what are you changing okay in Maestros, we will find uh, how the product adds uh, his entry in its entry in the Maestros page, in the master document page. Uh, we have no, the uh, product, party, company. So each module must to include them in here. Product is the product page. I will show now. And unit measure is an, a sub page of product page okay and the product price list we found again a product IRST because is what I will show you uh, how it modifies the product base document and price list that is a, a, a sub page okay. so I will show only the product inheritance and the product cost price cost history also the product modification okay in product it's our uh, rst uh, product blah blah okay first thing we found inherit red to make an inheritance we need an inherit point it's explicit we, uh, first we start with automatic uh, inherit points generation and it's also included in we don't remove this feature, maybe in the future or now we will remove because it's not useful because it used the, for example, here to produce a numeric point of this title. Do you, okay, I'm talking about this generic point, okay? This generic point is about this um, <coughs> section and title point, okay? 
uh, when it was generated automatically, there is a problem that, oh, now we don't like product, maybe product master or, well, we will change, we want to change, to make a change uh, for, for aesthetic reasons or, okay. Uh, it changed the inherit point reference, so we need to change each inheritance of this point. It's not a good solution, so uh, we change to explicit inheritance uh, def inherit points def uh, definition with these, these, uh, well, these statements. Directives. This is telling me, okay? Uh, inherit ref. Um, Product, product, it's a convention that to reference the module and the document, okay? It reference to product, product, RST. It's a convention, <coughs> but it's useful to, to have conventions. Section is because the inherit point is not about the title, it's not for the title, but for the section. It will be a, a div no? in the HTML document, so it is a, a reference to the div, not to the uh, H3 or H2 or, or the title, okay? And a name, sorry, and a name for this reference, okay? All, the, all that is the, all this is the inheritance um, identification that we will use in other documents, okay? The same for valid list, uh, inherit def of a valid list, etc. In okay, I don't have uh, internet. In the documentation of inherit, uh, inheritance extension of streams, uh, there is documented uh, which kind of um, inheritance is allowed, is, is supported now. Uh, section, uh, title, bulk. Fine. Uh, it's documented, okay? And it's inheritance, and it is 3-doc uh, feature. It replaces this name for the name of the field name, product template mm, uh, model, and the name, the name field of uh, product template model. So. If you customize this, this field name, it will change automatically, okay? It's a little bit more verbose to produce the, to write the documentation, but it supports uh, uh, the, all the customizations that we have, we are able to do in, in Triton's modules, okay? The same for field names, menus, if you see the, the, the core, the, the core documentation, you will find uh, an example of everything, okay? The product price lies, what does? It search the product product section unidades de medida, a uh, unit of measure. Okay, we have, we have this section, unidades de medida, in the, at the end. Okay, we have this inherit point okay, for this section and we use it in the price list to, before this section, before all the section, vale? before, there are before, after, and replace. It's, it's the same that we use, okay? We put a new section, tarifas, uh, a new section, tarifas. Uh, okay, uh, a new section tarifas without anything. I, uh, yeah, I don't understand. But it is in the same writing, not in the product. No, uh, here it, it is adding <coughs> this, this section and. Okay, yeah, it's, 
I think it, it's uh, okay. It's not correct. It should be a definition of inherit ref point. Okay, but the I think the the idea is it's get it, no? Another example before the section unidades de medida, it adds a new section with its content, okay? And it use a menu, a menu name, it, it put a menu name dynamically. Uh, I think it's, it's a, uh, more examples in the, in the treat on the project with core documentation, I think it's, it's enough, enough. Uh, okay. The idea, the idea of inheritance and the system is get it. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. We have a, a a little help to produce documentation, which is inheritance the book. Uh, flag in in conf pay when you Okay, in inheritance, in conf uh, uh, pay file, we have this flag, inheritance, auto-reference, no, auto-reference is what I say that it's not a good idea, inheritance the book, false, I will put to true, in quick start, you, uh, it asks uh, you if you want to enable this. Okay, now I can make HTML, It show more uh, message in uh, make field to find if it something falls. It gives you some more information. Okay, the verbose uh, flag uh, produce lot mm, too much uh, information. The the book inheritance most of the times it's enough to produce uh, documentation. Okay. Okay, when we enable this flag in the produce HTML, uh, HTML document, we have <coughs> these this, this, uh, this IDs which show us the existing, the existing uh, inheritance points. Okay, so we can find it in the sources, but we can enable uh, this flag, uh, show, and after you, put, you open the, the original document, well, if you need, or not, or it's enough, okay? Okay, well, now, there are some tricks uh, to generate the documentation. It's good to don't uh, generate the manual with all the modules, but if you are, um, you are documenting a module, uh, it's useful to generate the manual only with the, the dependencies of the module that you are uh, documenting, because you only find the inheritance points that you have uh, um, available, okay? And only the section, and only, well, you, on, you found the word, because if you need to change some paragraph, because it changed the, 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 the modular change, what is expressed here, okay. Okay, well, it's <laughs> a presentation about the, of the system. Uh, we, 
we present it because we have the we would like to include this this system or the the reference manual or the user manual we need to discuss them in the core uh, in the core uh, modules and as a guidelines of of a good uh, module producer for or, um, for Triton, okay? As uh, a module, it's not required, but it's um, very uh, recommended to to have translation in in the most important languages support or in all or in the most <laughs> uh, languages supported by Triton. It will be very good that to launch a, or, or to publish a new module, uh, you documented it almost in your language, in your uh, mother language, because, well, because I think it's complicated to, to generate a, a good documentation in another language, depends on your level, no? So, uh, well, is, do you like the system, the technical decisions we don't, and do you like the idea to have a reference or user doc manual uh, as a, a base uh, 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 included in, in each uh, Triton module? Uh, if, if the answer is yes, uh, <laughs> the, rest, no, the next point is, okay, we want a reference manual or a user doc a uh, user manual uh, or user manual. From none, our goal is not to have an exhaustive reference manual, but an user manual. More, more focused in user processes, I, I try to, to make a, to have a, a demo with sale module and etc. We reference it some fields but not all, all product fields, only these fields that are important for, for process, for process, no? And sometimes, and maybe uh, the, the Triton, the product uh, module don't document a, a field because with the module, docu uh, the product module, it doesn't have, it's not very important because it's only informative and with the name and the help message, it's enough. But another module use this field to to generate something automatically or or something that okay. So is this dependent module, or is when you are documenting this module that you add the the field in the in the product page to to have the information, but not an an exhaustive, all the fields of the, of the product uh, form, not. Only these fields that are important for process. It's the, the direction that from, from NAN and from Zigzag Media who produced the, the current documentation, uh, right, the product documentation, is our direction. Because if you produce a, a reference manual, the, our customers don't read it because it will be a lot of, do, of information that it's not useful. It, our, our goal is to avoid the typical call, how oh, how is made the automatic uh, invoice of projects? Okay, you have a how to, okay, go to, to pro, bueno, I don't know the, the process. But <laughs> 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 uh, a how to documentation that, uh, to, to do this process. But are do, are, there are the both, um, yeah, the both. Um, oh, Sorry. Um, I, I agree with this issue of distinguishing between user docs and the reference manual. Is it possible to configure the system to produce essentially two lines of documentation in parallel, designed for different audiences or certainly for different purposes? Exactly. The, I, we think that. This, or the, the technical system is very flexible and, and absolutely uh, agnostic about your, the, the produced manual. Um, 
it, it's a decision. We want reference manual, we want user manual, or we want both manuals. Uh, how we can have both manuals? Easy. Uh, in, in each module, we can have the doc directory and user doc directory, or in doc directory, we have a uh, user and system, or, or user and reference is what we have to discuss if we want to include these the, the, the documentation sources in it's the next step no what what is our goal do you like the directory structure that we propose or not or you don't like um, open <laughs> okay only bueno so, uh, now we we discuss that it's the interesting point only one thing uh, in the in the Bitbucket project of three dog there are I think there are the the roadmap of some futures uh, that we want to support there are a, an important future that we have uh, uh, implemented but it doesn't work uh, well that is take um, screenshots automatically from Triton client uh, well it, it was made in for open ERP and it works but in Triton we we need to well, we take uh, the <laughs> B2CK people and <coughs> if, if they can help us to, to solve this problem it will be great because it's a, the, the next big feature interesting no we have uh, customized it and specifically and automatically uh, field names menu names the next point is uh, screenshots when you show a uh, a screenshot of product um, product four. You don't need to inst to uh, have the 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 database take the screenshot only with one module, with two modules, with three modules. It's made all uh, all always automatically. So. Ah, the screenshot. Okay, it's it's the well, it's included, but it doesn't work because uh, we don't found how to. We can open the uh, programmatically, yeah, uh, open the, the the client and take the screenshot, but we don't found how to open the client with the specific view open it. Uh, maybe it's uh, something easy, but in the on Sunday we will try to to solve. Hi. Hi. My name is Daniel. I'm the new guy who doesn't know very much about technology, um, but I kind of come from the commercial side, as perhaps some of you have read on, on the on the forum or something like that. Now my main question when I read this is first, why don't you document everything in English? Why do we have if you try to convert from Spanish to English, you're going to commit a lot of errors only in conception when you do this, and then when you go further to another language, you lose a lot of content always. is that the first step, uh, the people involved in this uh, didn't have uh, enough uh, knowledge of English. Okay. Uh, second one is that we wanted to make a proof of concept, uh, but uh, in order to have a real proof of concept, we needed to write some documentation. Okay. Uh, probably if we, uh, in fact, we are not using that documentation with our customers yet. Okay. So we know there needs to be a discussion about the style and how things should be structured. But we needed a, a proof of concept okay. of that. Okay. So uh, if the community thinks that this is more or less, uh, or is the first step on the way to go to uh, have a module documentation, uh, of course we would uh, like to spend uh, to do it in English. And then we should decide if you work like Wikipedia in which every language does its own way, or we use a translation system uh, like GetText or whatever that translates paragraph by paragraph 
and the translator just writes it down. Well, my recommendation to put in a couple of languages would always be put it all in one language because when you try to go from one language to another one via real.org or Linux or any other pages that may uh, translate automatically, you will have a lot of errors in it because the meaning is a different one and the person reading the other version will always get confused at one point. So, I mean, it sounds like they're against <laughs> automatic translation, which <laughs> makes sense. Nobody likes Google Translate very <laughs> bad, very much. Thank you, Betty. No, I mean, but we could, for instance, we could offer, I, I, I could do some uh, translation from Spanish to English or the other way around, of course, but I, I don't have the technical knowledge and I don't mm -hmm. know what you mean with that word because I don't know your code. Mm -hmm. So I may use a totally different word and Google will, of course, offer. So that's why actually my basic question in the year 2013 working in an open source project, why don't you go to English? You want the base language that, yeah, I mean, that everyone starts with? I, I mean, I, if, we, if we agree that this is uh, a good thing, uh, just let's talk about this style and, and let's start writing in English. I don't think there's a problem with that. Uh, it will, the, the people that uh, were, are not so good at English will, will take more time and more correction from everyone. That's why we have code reviews also. Or maybe some people kind of specialize in writing. Yeah. Probably the people that write it in Spanish, uh, maybe I, they are not able to write it in English, but they are able to translate from English. So I don't think there's a problem with that. Okay. Is that a proof of concept? It's a starting point. Okay. And the second thing is um, that I would like to refer to is when, when I saw this screen that you just showed with all this stuff in there, it looked to me something like Microsoft DOS 1994. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of, you know, I, I'm not into programming or developing, but it's, you know, I, I remember this how to add the bug configuration and config this, and you know, I was pretty young, you could do that. Um, I, I can't work with we, we, we can so We can use a, a different background color if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Restructured text. Restructured text. Okay. Or markdown. Markdown. Wiki. The wiki. The wiki way of writing pages. Uh, wiki pages. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. Me coming to the to to I think we couldn't because these technical reasons. I don't have a, a, a methodology to go into it. I could write a, an entry in the forum or. I could send somebody an email, but I can't add it in that way. Okay. Uh, to, to help these cases, because uh, since we mm, make these, these systems, this system, I, I have the idea of the project to, to make a, a, a web app, a web application that, uh, that allow you to, to modify documentation uh, from, nav uh, from Navigator. It's a project in, in, this, <coughs> in this directory that we've put ideas and <laughs> never <laughs> take them, but it's an idea because uh, the better person who can write this documentation, if it's a user, doc, user manual, is a customer, a, a good customer that wants to, to do it. So I have the project or the idea to 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 make a, a documentation that you can uh, write in from the navigator to avoid these problems. Because that's what we talked about when we said merging the two sides and bringing together the In this case, 
the better people uh, or the people most uh, the better people to pr uh, to write this documentation is the people with less less uh, technical <coughs> skills. So I think it's uh, something interesting to to make this web application that I I investigated a little bit. That it's not with Flask. It's not very hard. There are uh, bridge text uh, editors in JavaScript for uh, SP. There are more for Markdown, but <laughs> yeah, uh, restructured it's, uh, it, well, it, it could be a, a good um, future uh, feature to, to have. Udo? Yes. I uh, very much like uh, the, um, um, the forthcoming of uh, <laughs> technology. I like uh, the new inherit ref. Uh, fixed point where you can say I want to go to this this point uh, and to put my documentation exactly there. It is uh, very much better than the uh, year before when uh, we must choose um, the, the structure Sorry, I where we uh, must choose the, check the section names uh, which can change and in language uh, it will change anyway so um, we have to translate everything. This is not, not no longer uh, needed, I guess, isn't it? Uh, when I change the language, I can uh, have to say... You can choose. It, mm, now, each language is absolutely independent, independently. So, yes. if, you pre uh, if you define the, the generic points in, in Spanish or in English or in French, it's the decision of, of, of the writer. Okay. Then um, I like the uh, inside tech where I can say I have a tree with some bullet points and I want to put something into into the, the list of bullet points. This is very good too. But um, what I'm not so sure about is the, um, the functional or the uh, reference documentation part uh, you've shown. What you've shown was a good uh, user documentation where you can say um, this is a general description for some processes which may uh, be uh, little bit different in, in uh, different companies, but I think um, we have uh, one part in Triton. Uh, uh, this is a kind of reference documentation between user and between uh, developer. It is, um, it, is, uh, it is intermediate. It, you need uh, something where, you, where every field is listed, really every field, because the user interface is not only uh, what the, uh, the user with the mice and keyboard is, is seen, User interface can be also um, a report. When you print some, some invoice, then you have fields inside the invoice, and this field are uh, part of, of the model, of the object model in, in Triton. So you can explain this everything together. There are some hidden fields uh, no user can see, uh, uh, can, can see but uh, they are very important for the, for the technical uh, aspect. So I, I think we need uh, some, some very um, boring uh, reference documentation and um, then user documentation like this which, which can refer to the reference documentation. I think it is much 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 more easy to read the user documentation without all the fields named because it is not important to name the fields for the user documentation just the fields you use but in the reference documentation you name every field and explain everything. Um, I think uh, we, we should decide uh, these two points, but in general, I, I think, think that the structure is good. thing is that uh, if anyone here is used to writing documentation, it would be nice to have an example, because we are not used to writing mm -hmm. documentation. Okay? So I, th I think that those of you have have uh, clear ideas of how it should look like. Uh, take an example of, uh, you said, the uh, invoicing courses, I think, or sale or whatever. and and describe how a uh, good user manual should look like. And then try to move it to uh, this uh, modular system and see how it looks. I, I think... Uh, just an example of part of Triton, not everything, of course. I think uh, if we don't want to have to maintain uh, two manuals, uh, I think it could be merged in, in, in only one because the reference manual that it's basically the field uh, the fields reference uh, could be in in a section like maestros for example and we have another section for processes and in processes are more how to documentation and in in master documents uh, we have the master documents and functional areas 
with a sale and tal, we have the reference. And I think <coughs> if it's an exhaustive list of fields, but the the user, if he's um, um, consulting the, the manual, they are uh, searching for a field so they can open the, the product um, page and if there are 100 fields, control F, no? and search the field name and it, <coughs> as it will be written exactly uh, as he <coughs> see in, in the ERP, they can find very quickly. No? In, in, in fact, uh, that could be, could be done automatically from the client because uh, in the documentation, we make reference to a field, and the field is automatically translation from the information in the ERP, just like the menu reference. So can do the, the we can we could build a small database when writing the documentation, when building the documentation, and make the reference from the client. You right click on the field, for example, and see all the places in the documentation where that field is uh, is named. So maybe the invoicing process names it and the purchasing process also names that field because it's used for for help. About uh, what you say that uh, the processes are different for each company, I think maybe there are examples that it's not true, but um, the processes is, is is supplied by the ERP and if you if some um, company change its the, the default process probably they have a, a, a module for the company that change in the code, the process. So this, this module must to have the, document, the documentation that change the, the, the user document. You have replace to remove or replace a paragraph that is not true with this module, and, and it happens. No? Uh, uh, we have modules also in the core that change the meaning of a field or, or the, the behavior of or the process that other that independent dependent module uh, makes no um, if there is a, a case that it's not well it is what uh, Albert explained no? uh, we don't write lot lot of documentation maybe in the future we will find uh, a case that it's not okay. Uh, in your in your uh, customer uh, module that I think every everything makes, we you can use the replace to remove parts of the. Okay, you have the the this module that adds these sections in the manual, but my customer this part of the module or, or the, never use it. Okay, replace this section, and it's more work but you have a very good uh, final result with only the information that you want to show. It's similar that if you need to remove uh, some fields or some tab from a, a view because you don't want that your customer have these fields uh, in the form. No? I would like to add something to a huge amount of manual work uh, when we, when we uh, like to build a um, reference manual based on um, so many uh, decisions, what is good, what is not good, what the customer needs to read and what the customer do does not need to read. For me it is um, much uh, more easy when we have um, kind of templating which uh, produce for every conception in Triton a template for documentation where all the, the uh, technical stuff is included and then uh, we just start to write what is it. You have uh, something, a model, mod module, it's called a, a, a project project. The project module is uh, the real name of it. Then um, you have um, some description, general description of this project, nothing more. This general description of uh, this uh, module is um, used in any, any language I can think of because nobody will, will change something in, in this documentation. It can be good be based in English and translated in other languages. It is really, really boring to read uh, because it is uh, reference documentation. It is very general for very general cases, just as a reference. That means a reference point when you write another documentation, a user manual, then you can reference to this documentation and say there is all the, the details uh, 
you maybe want to know, you maybe don't. <coughs> and um, when we cut uh, this away, we have, uh, for me, a clear structure because uh, Triton um, is, is based on uh, uh, the, the KISS, KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. So it means every field used is used uh, by anyone because um, it is really simple. So we can describe anything, what we, what we have. Then uh, we have uh, integrators with uh, their own modules. Uh, they can describe what they have. And then we have integrators with own modules and special customer modules, which make all the stuff uh, for the customers they deliver. And there they, they can override all the layers uh, we have in documentation. But the base layer, what I mean, uh, is um, a layer uh, which uh, provides um, documentation for the Triton uh, uh, server and all the delivered mm -hmm. modules from uh, www.triton.org. Uh, this can be uh, built by, by uh, every one of us. It uh, would be good for every one of us, I guess, uh, because uh, when we have it, uh, we have documentation. It's a big benefit for everyone. But I would take a cut and uh, leave all decisions, uh, what is good for the customer, what not, uh, to the user manual. And the user manual for me is uh, out of scope of Triton, I, I would say. So we need a template for it. A kind of template, yes. But there is one problem when we when you have a template. Uh, what uh, what uh, what one, uh, what are we going to do when we change the template? When we want to change something in the structure? When we have a new conception? We must overwork everything manually. This is a lot of work. I'm not sure uh, if it is a uh, good um, having a real automatic template which is uh, parsed and every data which is uh, the field names, uh, the head text of the fields, uh, the module documentation which uh, it's parsed automatically into and then uh, it generates uh, a kind of reference documentation um, in a complete automatic way. But um, it's hard to maintain because uh, we need to uh, in put all the contents into the Triton code or in into the Triton data. We have to think about this when we like to have templates. Yeah. Oh, it could be done because we have a, a script that that uh, generates the views uh, fields, uh, do something similar to generate the 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 RST, the, the documentation sources could be. I think he wants to write documentation inside the code, the Python code. Is it it, uh, Udo? I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about. Um, the problem is the templating. When we have, uh, when we start to uh, write documentation and we put it into into documents, then uh, we can hardly uh, change the structure of the documents. We need to overwork every document, and it's a lot of work. So uh, when we use templating, uh, it could be easier to to change the structure of such uh, documents. Mm -hmm. But it's very technical. I think. Uh, to do uh, the this, I think. What you say it's okay for modules that uh, create a new master or a new functional area. There are a lot of very little modules that a templating system to, to write the documentation doesn't work, not because they only change a field or a behavior, but <coughs> well, it, it will it will be good. I think it's better or it's easier to start writing from the scratch some documentation, have some feedback and some uh, experience about writing documentation and the result, and after produce some uh, templates for, okay, uh, we, uh, in more, more collaborative, we write the product and sale, for example, no? uh, documentation, and with these two modules uh, well documented and um, discuss it in the community uh, how we want to produce this kind of documentation. I put these two examples because the product module is a module with a lot of data and less processes and same module is a, a module well, with data but with processes. No? So if we document in community these two, these two modules, we have a good base to write documentations in, in a similar style uh, of purchase and, and project and other 
Mm. It will be great to define more in more practically what we discuss about the if the the documentation must to be a reference or how to. No? I think when we write an, a, an, a real example and we in community uh, uh, see the, the results, uh, we can discuss better about, okay, it's the direction of the, the documentation that we want, or no, here it's too much specific, and it will don't match in, in most of the customers, so we need a more generic uh, documentation. I think yes, but one moment I compile the three doc uh, module uh, extension documentation. Okay. Uh, this is the documentation of 3Doc uh, Sphinx extension. Okay, it's in Red the Docs, uh, blah, blah. Uh, we can get fields, so field names, field help, help uh, text, and field val maybe. No, I don't know, you, you got it here. Help, and the class. Uh, 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 No. Okay, I think now it's not uh, supported to get the, the for example, as the selection values. No, but but you can pick up. Uh, I don't know if you were going to say that uh, data, any data from. Yeah, but from year model data, not yes. what they are asking, not but it's easier to implement. Uh, maybe I, it could be in, in Sunday because we also have the system to get the help field of the field. So to get the Something the selection the field way. of the help is is ten minutes, okay. Uh, <laughs> half, <laughs> half an hour work. Computer guy minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> half an hour, <laughs> half a day, maybe. <laughs> yes. And ten days uh, views, uh, the name of the view and any uh, ear model data, any ear model data information could be get, okay? But, okay. Hi, Hi. I'm <laughs> Pablo from Chico, Argentina. Only uh, we had a, a Triton project and we had to, to write the documentation and we made with, with the Sphinx and it was great. Not with all of this, only a Sphinx, and I, I, the man who wrote the documentation, I'm not a technical guy. At the beginning, I, I hate REST and, and Sphinx, but now I think that it's better. I, I have in the Git, uh, I have all in Git. I have uh, no problem with image. I had a, a, a web page and not only a document. I think that, uh, this is, it would be useful for us. Uh, yeah. Also know that there are two uh, Sphinx modules here, Trilog and yeah. Inheritance. So you can really use uh, Trilog if you don't, you don't like Inheritance and just pick up the... Uh, yes, you can pick up Triton information. Yes, I think it's useful. Okay. 
Uh, I put the inheritance as dependence of three log, uh, but it's not, not necessary to to, to <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, because but you, you, you install three log and you have everything. But yeah, it's not. Any question or comment? More? No. But ju just in another thing uh, to do with what Udo said earlier. Uh, I, I think it could be it, it would be very difficult to just generate a pure reference documentation, which would just go under a very uh, very specific uh, part uh, in the MySQL. Uh, <coughs> I think the the main page, just something which would be a reference documentation, so it would just top of course all the models which are available on the server yes. and uh, just read all the fields, uh, read all the views and uh, just provide the very technical <coughs> information to me. I think it, it can be very uh, separated from a user doc and uh, we, we might not even need the, the doc folder to manage it. Si, 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 si. Uh, this is a, a first step for what okay. you mentioned here. Is this a, it also generates at the very end a list of modules? Yes. Uh, it use it use the index uh, RS, the index page that I said uh, it's not on it's not used because it's used in apps. Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> uh, it's used here to have a, a list of, of modules. What is documented in this uh, index is what you want and uh, also if we have uh, some script or some tool to automatically generate this page that to include not only the description, no? Uh, what is, but <coughs> it is uh, manual writer. It, it, it adds uh, some field or some model, no? Uh, it could be a, a tool to generate that. It, it adds this view that based on, on, on the sources. I, I don't know if, if it is what you... Well, it's sort of a very, uh yeah, there is something like uh, you just, when you generate the documentation, you just connect to the Triton server, uh, look for all the, uh, all the uh, models in the pool, and just for each model, you look for all the fields, and for each field, you write, uh, you write its information. So it could be just very straightforward, and just give you, uh, you could use it, as uh, Udo said, some sort, some sort of a hook to which you could point any, anywhere else in the documentation, and just say, uh, uh, something like the tri Triton doc on the uh, Triton uh, website. You could just say, uh, I don't know, party dot uh, name anywhere in the documentation, and you you could click it and go back to the uh, technical reference, which would be automatic automatically generated, and you could see, for instance, uh, where it is. Uh, well, w in which module has it been defined? Uh, which has the uh, I don't know, uh, for instance, the. Uh, the help text, if it's a selection field, the different possible values, all these kind of things, which could be, uh, I think, uh, auto totally automatic from a documentation point of view. Okay. Um, I can show it. Hmm? I can show it's it. more like a peer <laughs> Yeah, but sort of, but it could be, I think it could be rather easy to include it uh, in this project. Yeah. For this idea, I have a small showcase made last year for the tool. Hopefully the internet is working. Mm -hmm. It looks very similar. Uh, it is based um, on, on the ideas uh, of uh, Albert and Antic uh, from uh, last two years, but uh, it's a bit, little bit aged. It is um, a documentation made um, by a script. It just reads um, parts out of Triton and make, uh, make, make some, some documentation. <coughs> um, here we have uh, general conceptions. Uh, these are conceptions we, we uh, should uh, should uh, explain in a general way. We have um, 
for example, uh, different field types in Triton. We use the selection fields, Boolean fields, and, and, and a date field. And it would be good to explain this kind of fields in one place because uh, we can explain it uh, very good uh, in this place. It is uh, kind of um, the shortcuts for the fields, uh, what you can input in this field, um, and so on and so on. These are static parts. Um, there are other conceptions in Triton. Um, you can see here just, just uh, some samples, but nothing more. And this uh, <coughs> um, is a modules and module entry point uh, to the documentation. Uh, so you, you want to come from the functional parts and want to dive into, into the, the different functions, but um, organized by the, by the modules of Triton. So it depends uh, a lot uh, which module is installed. Hardy uh, module, you have different models there. And uh, another entry point is uh, the menu levels. So you can go uh, from the menu uh, reaching uh, some uh, different views. So you can um, look at this. Maybe we go here financial invoices, invoices. It's a, it's a usual entry point. There it is, uh, the documentation uh, for the, um, it is <coughs> the mod model documentation <coughs> for the invoice model. You find um, some basic um, ah. explanations, <laughs> the internal names, um, the base module, which it is based on. Um, here you have uh, different menu entry points and so on. This is all um, created from, um, from the internals of Triton. In, uh, this you have fields, different fields. There is a field account. Um, it has an um, internal name. It is also account. It has attributes, which is uh, this one is required. It's a required field, so you must fill it uh, if you want to use it. It is a type. It is a many to one field. So it means, means it has a uh, reference uh, to another object. You can um, go to this relation to the other object by just um, click it. And then you find the documentation of the, of the reference uh, module uh, model. It is very technical, um, but uh, the problem is you cannot uh, you cannot get, uh, took a line between the technical and user documentation because uh, you need the technical documentation for a user you want, you want to know everything you want to know um, all internal details or you want to have uh, a kind of reference do documentation for uh, someone who want to program Triton but uh, need to <coughs> some introduction in the in the um, functional parts not the programming but the functional parts the models the fields how it everything relates together. And maybe this uh, could be a way um, to produce. I do not use, um, for this I do not use templates or something like that. I use a template, but the uh, first aim was uh, to write this text uh, in, in the document. It is just uh, these uh, green black files uh, we had uh, in, the, in the beginning. Um, and you can, um, we can uh, make them complete, but uh, I don't think it is a good way because when you want to change some, some structure, we must override every document. It is a lot of work. So I think maybe we can follow um, really the idea to, to fill everything here in this kind of documentation automatically. And we have a reference. So when, when we write a user documentation, we do not need to, to think about uh, fields or explain every time what is a party or this stuff, we can just uh, reference to the reference documentation and write good uh, to-do lists, uh, something like this, or how-tos. That's it. But I don't understand. Uh, it's made uh, everything automatically? It's or a script, uh, yes. It's just a script uh, which uh, produces this. It's the idea he, he explained, uh, it is... Uh, yeah, does it I produce think RST? It produces RST? Or yes, RST. It, it creates is, uh, an it RST creates, uh, file. Just, uh, 100 lines, uh, dirty code, nothing more. It's not, not a big, big thing. Just I think go into it. It, it just, um, just takes um, the structure of Triton, how it is built, 
Maybe I can find something here. Uh, I'm not prepared. These are all fields. Fields. It's a model with a lot of fields. There are many fields not not often used. But uh, <coughs> if you want to know what it is and you want an explanation what it is, it, for me it is a place to to look for for it. Yeah, I think we can just use this and maybe uh, add hooks in the uh, actual documentation that will, I mean, write something more useful than just some uh, user-generated uh, uh, text for, uh, I mean, for instance, the attributes, the type, all these things are very uh, technical and should be, yep. but the text that you're writing in the, the uh, for instance, right here, the intact field is used to store, et cetera, et cetera, could be uh, changed from the uh, described in doc uh, tool. Could be uh, some some sort of new inheritance, and uh, and just plug uh, what you want to what you want to, to say for this field from a user point of view, or even a little more technical. But all the structure and the uh, attributes part could indeed be automatic. And well, that that was sort of uh, what I was talking about. Mm. And then it's possible to cross reference things if it allows you to write cross reference yeah. and find the method something maybe to refer to. So is this generated from the doc string and the model definitions, or is there a separate source? For no, it's, um, maybe I'll find, uh, oh yeah. here you can, can see it is um, in selection field. It has some, uh, some options. So it is from the code, just um, generated uh, from, from the code. I have not, not a field which show, um, we have no, not many head texts, so I cannot show you the head text. Maybe I filter it because they are all, all bad. They are written uh, not good for this kind of documentation. They are written as a tooltip help, but uh, here we need a complete sentence uh, which, which explain a field in, in detail. It is not only the fields uh, or the models, it is um, the reports uh, which are connected to this model. It is uh, wizards connected to this model. It is access uh, groups, what we have to control the access uh, of, of uh, several users um, to this model. It is, um, for me, this is a level uh, where all user documentation come together. We have uh, several users. We have end user, uh, customer user, which just use uh, Dryton to input data, data from, from uh, the company. But we have uh, also um, users uh, which are uh, um, which want to, uh, to develop Triton. We have uh, administra administration users which um, uh, try to uh, configure uh, the system, uh, who has access to what, and so on and so on. So we have several kinds of users. And I think in, on this level we, we could or, or we should serve all of them. It is, uh, for me, a very low level documentation not to understand uh, uh, be wrong. It is not the, the documentation I want to show in any in, in first uh, first front uh, intention to, to the to the uh, to an end user. It is just when someone wants to know it in, in detail, you can look there. And this is the kind of documentation, so functional documentation to a field that's on the screen. We add it somehow to the screen. I mean, for, for some of the fields, there are two that are because you have a mouse over functionality. And it pops up, but in, in some parts this is not sufficient. So what would really help you would be if the user goes with the mouse on the screen and presses F1 or something like that, and then a, a help text and a documentation text pops up. You can do what the W3C does with their documentation. They have everything on the page, which is for vendors. Browsers say, if you implement this, it must follow this, it should do this, it should not do that, all that stuff. And then there's a button that says, developer only view. And all it does is hide everything that is only for vendors, and if you're a developer and you want to live on what should this tag do, where does it belong, what are its attributes, everything else is gone, it's formatted a little nicely, it's a little piece of JavaScript, I wrote it, it makes a cookie, it's, and that's one option, although here we have too many different kinds of users, and here they only have two, they have vendors, the browser makers, and they have people who write HTML, but it's a, it, they have one great big long page for everything anyway, so you generate it once, and then they just use CSS to selectively hide all the vendor-only stuff. And that's an option because then you're not, you, you, you have one document that you are editing all the time. I don't know if that's possible here with one document, but the W3C, uh, no, the, the worldwide consortium, they, they, they have a specification. It's also in GitHub for uh, HTML. I mean, it's HTML, it's the HTML 5.1, uh, 
there's with the writing in the 5.0 that came you know, the lesson and I didn't do that at the time to take a short example. It's just it's a very simple thing. They just have flashes on everything that is uh, vendor only and if you click the button that you get flashes of screen on. So it's an option. It's an idea. Yes, um, maybe maybe good idea um, having something like this. Th for me, this uh, should be a documentation which is uh, generated uh, all, uh, um, automatically because um, well, it's too stupid. It, it does not make much fun uh, to work every time over this kind of text because um, what to say for the field unit price? The pr unit price is, um, is, a, is a unit price of the product. And <laughs> it, it's, it's a, the, ah, yeah. We need good um, we need good people with uh, good. Um, um, knowledge to, to write these texts, I, I guess. But it should be produced automatically. What, uh, when we have a field was uh, <coughs> the first question, um, when we have a field and we have um, the tooltip text, uh, for me, um, but it is a decision, uh, it is good to have uh, the same uh, explanation in the tooltip than in, in the reference documentation. It should be the same text. Mm -hmm. Because uh, why make a difference uh, in, in, in this text does not make any sense. If you want to um, like um, like you showed, if you want to make um, the stupid small text uh, from uh, from the reference documentation looks better because uh, you have a, a case uh, with a customer who used this field for something uh, which is very important and when um, his, his, his uh, employees does not fill this field correctly then uh, it breaks everything then uh, you can um, just uh, set uh, some um, of the of the try doc uh, uh, re reference points to here and just uh, extend it with an uh, additional module for, for your special case. So um, with this, maybe we serve uh, more, even more uh, kinds of uses uh, of this documentation. Something close sure. to what uh, Dominic said some time back. So uh, I'm referring here to APG, which is an Oracle product from Presscom. So when they produce a documentation, it's three different sets of documentation which come in. One, for the installation and configuration which is aimed at a system administrator kind of person. A documentation which is purely a user guide, something what we want to build for an end user. And third, which is an API reference. So uh, API reference is something like this with every single field, every single model, the class, what's involved, the views, everything together. So I feel what the, uh, the documentation that's displayed here fits very close to the API reference that we need. And the, mod the model that they have developed is quite close to what we can build as a user-specific documentation. So if we can use both and cross-refer from the user documentation mm -hmm. with a specific things tag which comes back to the field, a model.field, which takes you to the field detail, I think we solve the problem together. Exactly, I think mm -hmm. it's a great work. I, it, it's like the, the model and fields uh, entries in, in ERP, but more easy to, to see, I think. The, well, for me, the best option is to to include this in 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 the system that we developed. No, uh, we show the modules list, but we we could have in the in the main menu uh, a, a reference entry, and this reference is is not generated with our tool, but with this script because produce a, a exhaustive reference manual. It's a hard work, so uh, an automatic, uh, but it is less, it doesn't have too much information no? like this, but if it is automatically, it's a, a good point. Ne uh, uh, the, the next step is to have cross-reference that I think it could be very easy because if it's generated automatically and for this kind of documentation, the automatic reference it's good because it would <laughs> because the field name don't change and it, it change you should try you have to to change the also the user manual so if it generates uh, referenceable forms and an id for each field for example now with the field name and the model and field name or something that it's very easy for us to to know in the user manual you uh, with our tool we, you can make or automatically when you get the field name, it could add a link to the reference of that. that no? the, the first part, 
the about the the form the view types. I think it could be included in in our base uh, documentation. We have something similar, but it seems that you uh, you're more exhaustive, so we can take your work and include it in the base module uh, documentation. And the this automatic documentation added automatically by three dots. I have a technical question with this. Uh, so, 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 so just a second. Sure. Uh, we're out of time, uh, so if you think it's okay, you can make time until uh, 11.30, yeah. and then uh, if anyone Change wants, you can talk later or take some <coughs> conclusions for tomorrow or something, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just looking at the same thing here, each field has a documentation. Uh, each field you have put it up, and we don't have a help text for <coughs> most of the field. And the help text that we put in is usually displayed on the client along with the field, so they cannot be long either. Can we use the same syntax what Spring uses for attribute documentation, which is a <coughs> hash and a column, and you can write a lengthy description, and we could pick that up using the same Spring parser. If we are going to use Triton as a module, not through Proteus, it won't be possible through Proteus. So that's something which we'll have to go into most of the core modules if we really have to document each field. Is that something which is open to, if someone is ready to send a, uh, send a patch for that, is that something which would emerge? That's even the Once again, the question was, if for each field, each field is an attribute inside a class for us, right? So if we put Spring style documentation along with the field, that is right above the field, a column and a, a hash and a column, and we write a lengthy documentation on that, is that something which would be acceptable to be merged into code? I don't know. Uh, did you <laughs> so the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest no. <laughs> okay. Uh, some fun for.